it kind of appears that it's a, a, a strange flight path, that it's kind of gone to the east and then turning to the left. When you draw the straight line, people expect planes to fly in straight lines, but they don't. In fact, that's the flight path today. That was the flight path yesterday. That's just how this flight gets to Dusseldorf. But what's curious to me this morning is that the plane appeared to start descending. I won't say lost power. I won't say anything. I'm not making any, any imaginations here. The plane began to descend right there. Right there where that purple stops, but just 32 miles away is an 11,000 foot airport. And this plane continued for another 102 miles before it finally stopped transmitting data. We'll just go there. We know that it crashed, but it stopped transmitting data. The plane was going up and up and up and went all the way to 38,000 feet. And all of a sudden right there, what they've been calling all day, a controlled descent down here. Even, they're calling it a controlled descent because the speed stayed the same. If the speed really increases, you know it's nose diving and, and that would be an uncontrolled descent. So here's where we are. Here's where the plane taking off from Barcelona, heading up. There's the Marseille airport that I'm talking about. And here's where we think the possible location of that plane is. So for a while, this was not in the Alps. This plane was not just in danger in a very high terrain area. This is low terrain, 3,000 feet through here. And it was still at about 28,000 feet through here. All of a sudden, though, the Alps right here along this front range, we'll call it, almost like what you'd see in Colorado. The mountains just go straight up, and that's the 6,000 feet. This is the first place that the plane would have found a 6,000-foot elevation. So there's, there's more curious here than I think meets the eye.